combine two gradients or more gradients in Clips. Go to the layer menu and once you've done that, go down to new layer and gradient. Brings up a basic gradient, lovely white to black. And what you can do, you can go over here, you've got all the various windows. So just go to window, you've got sub tool, brush, sub -tool. just make certain you've got certainly those three available. Once you've done that, just simply go over here and to advanced settings. So click on advanced settings and you can change the gradient all kinds of ways. Plus you've got some presets to use as well. So simply select one of the presets. Now I've got a preset already created down there that I created earlier and you've got a design there. Now what I can do, you can modify the gradients in all kinds of ways. You can move the stops, simply go down the bottom, there's a little arrow there just simply drag it so you can just see as you do that it will change. It will also change in the preview as well. And you can do that for any of the others. So go to red. And if you think, you know what, I don't want red there. What I can do, I can always go and click there and I can say, well, you know what, I prefer blue. So change it to blue and you've got blue there instead. And you can modify these, you can modify. And also you've got this mixing as well. So you can create some interesting mixes of the colors as well as you see you change that you can just sort of blend blends just nicely and that's for each of those so if you just go to that one you can see that one if you go to this one you've got a straight line obviously the blend is just a basic blend but you can still click on that and you can just modify that if you wish as well so you can create some very interesting variations there and you can still continue to modify these and change things and once you're happy with your design, what you can do, you can always quickly click it and add it to your presets, so, or set. So I'm just going to call it there, gradient, and now it's just been added there. You don't have to do that, you can just go with it and just click OK. Now, once you've done that, what I like to do is, quite often I look here at the edge process. This is in the tool property. So with tool property, then I can go along here and I can select, let's just go for this one go for repeat. Actually, to be honest, I prefer that one. It'll, that's a reverse, as it's called. And then you just modify the size. And as you do that, what happens, you end up with all these gradients. And it's just repeating over and over again. And let's say you can just run through these ones, just try which one looks better. And also, of course, you can modify the angle. So you can change that. And you can still continue to move it around and also if you want you can change shape so you can decide let's just go over here and you go for radial and also you can still continue to move it and you can interactively modify the size on the screen so you can get some really nice effects there what you can then do you can duplicate the layer so you can just go to a layer and you can go down to duplicate layer still a gradient layer so you can see it's great over here. It's got a little gradient layer there. So just, and you can move it. They're independent. They're not linked in any way, which is a pity. It would be nice if there was a link feature. However, you can move it around and do that. Once you've done that, you can also go to plenty modes. So you can just say, oh, let's just go for darken. Go for lighten. And you can create all kinds of different colorful combinations that way with gradients. And I say, you could have three, four, 10 layers. Obviously, the more complex it gets, it's going to get potentially very messy. But once you've done that, you can always then select both of those. So you've got both selected. Then you can go to a layer and you can say merge selected layers. Now, at that point, you lose the ability to modify the gradient because you've got this design. It's just a pixel layer, raster layer. But you can always, if you want, always go back to a layer and new layer and add another gradient layer or use some of these others as well or maybe go for new correction layer so you think you know what i'd like to just change the color slightly you can always go reverse gradient and you just quickly nicely change the color very quickly that way i'm just going to undo that you can see the sort of designs and of course there's lots and lots of filters you can use nice lot of selection here distort to create all kinds of different designs from this basic design and again i said you can always go create another gradient so new layer and gradient of course it goes back to the default and then again over here in tool properties you can just change it again advanced setting personally i very rarely edit it from this one 
even though in some ways it's nicer because you can, I just go to advanced settings because uh, you've got all the presets. Love all the presets, you've got a range of effects, you've got some shades, just run through those. So just decide, nice starting point, and you've got that starting point. And again, you can modify this, and this just changes, so select a different one of those stops, and you can modify that, just change it. I think it's really nice. Real, really nice feature, just to create subtle changes. If you want different skies, different looks, but also you can, again, always go over there, select one of the stops, change the color. Let's just go for white instead. Puts white there, very quick and easy. Click OK, still got this design, still go to normal, and you can still then run through difference, and you can modify that or multiply, linear, etc. So there's a whole range of different designs, and once you're happy with that, of course, you can then merge that as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time. A dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.